Well, it's the most wonderful time of the year for many people here on Delmarva. For those who work to save lives on a daily basis, it can be frightening because studies show this time of year there's a 25% drop in the number of blood donations. Silver lining though, you can do a lot to change that statistic. Tony Prado is a marketing communication specialist with the Blood I Bank know. of Delmarva, and he joins us this uh, afternoon. Thank you for being here. Uh, My a pleasure. Cri a critical time of the year when it comes to blood donations. Uh, why is that? Uh, great question. Uh, you know, th this is a, this is a great uh, uh, time of year for us because, as you mentioned at the outset. Uh, 25% drop, that's because the high schools and, and, uh, and the colleges are, are no longer in school, and that is an astonishing 25% of the, you know, the amount of blood that we collect uh, during the school year. So what do we have to do? We have to get the word out that summertime is here and people are on vacation, they're having fun in the sun, but guess what doesn't take a vacation? The need for blood. Sure. I, mean, I was, you know, was going to say, the, the, the donations may, the supply may drop off, but the demand doesn't, does it? Exactly, and when you think about it, it's it's almost a recipe for disaster. People are more more active in the summertime. They're going to the beach. Uh, they're on vacation. People are on the roads, uh, and everybody's in a hurry. It seems you know everybody yeah. slow down. Yeah. So so things can happen, and we have to stay ahead of that. And so in the summertime, look, most our, our donors give because they're good people. Uh, you know, Ms. Bryant, you're you're a donor yourself, mm -hmm. you know, and we 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 love to see you every 56 days, like like clockwork. Um, but you know, it, 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 it's uh, you know we we have to have incentives. Uh, you know, maybe we're giving a couple gas grills away this summer, yeah. uh, some gift cards. Uh, everybody loves the summer blood drive T-shirt. Uh, it's a beautiful coral uh, and white color, and uh, you know, so those bring in some extra people. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and like I said, most people are coming in uh, just because they know it's the right thing to do. But you know, if we can get some extra people in to donate and make up for those kids that are out of school, college and high school. And, and by the way, the Salisbury high schools and colleges, uh, including Salisbury University, they're terrific with the way, with the way they collect blood. Let's talk period. a little bit about what the blood is used for. What situations uh, do they use the blood? In that's a, that's a great question. Uh, you know, I, I mentioned accidents. So when there's a trauma situation, uh, we need to sometimes replace your blood. Uh, you know, you can have a bleeder at the hospital, and sometimes they can need several units. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we can use up a day supply of O negative, for instance, uh, because of a bad accident. Another uh, important segment of the population that we always have to remember are cancer patients. Uh, you know. It's bad enough that they have cancer, but the chemotherapy and the radiation that they go through can kill red blood cells, they can kill platelets, and those are uh, some of the most important products that we collect on a daily basis. Yeah. Uh, I've also met people who suffer from severe anemia. Uh, you know, you, as you know, uh, Ms. Bryant, when, when you donate blood, you gotta have a certain hemoglobin level, mm -hmm. so, and, and 12 and a half is the minimum for, uh, for, for, our, for the ladies. Well, some people, they, when they drop to a five or six, sometimes they can, they can need two or three units of red blood cells wow. just to get that iron up so that the oxygen is getting to, you know, all, and all your body. And that's two donations right there, right? Exactly, okay. exactly. All right, so while you're talking about that, uh, for, for the new donor, are there certain requirements that we need to, to meet? Uh, that's a great question. Uh, you want to be feeling healthy and well on right. the day that you want to come in. Um, if, you, if you're battling a cold or you have a fever, you don't want to come in. Uh, you have to be at least 17 years of age. Okay. You have to be at least 110 pounds. Okay. And, uh, th and there is no age limit. Uh, we used to have an age limit of 79, but when we realized many of our senior citizens are, are very healthy, we, we, we did away with that, uh, wisely, I think, because you know people enjoy giving blood. It usually ends up being a lifetime endeavor. Is there a particular type of blood that you need more than others? That's a great question. Uh, so when you look at you know statistics in America, O positive is the number one blood type. Uh, it's about one in three people. and. Uh, a positive is also about one in three, but O positive has it beat by a couple per percentage points. So o, o positive and A positive are very important uh, red blood cells that we need to keep on the shelves. Uh, platelets, we, we love to see our AB negative and AB positive folks give platelets or plasma because we, we always hear about O negative being the universal donor for red blood cells. On the plasma side, the AB types are, are you know, shine in, in, in the same regard as being the universal donors. So we try to steer our AB uh, negative and AB positive folks to, to platelets and plasma. O negative, O positive, and A positive are some of the most important. I mean, they're all important. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm B right. negative. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm kind of rare, second rarest, uh -huh. and, uh, but th there's always a demand for that one sure. as well.
Okay, so Delmarva Life's Katie Zerilli is, is going to make her first blood donation this is great. today. <laughs> yeah. It's a simple process going through, right? It is. I mean, she's going to go through a little mini physical, our, our competent phlebotomist. Uh, we have lead uh, blood collection tech, uh, Leanne Butler, and uh, phlebotomist Katrina Mason. They're going to you know, they're gonna have a mini physical, they're gonna take her blood pressure, they're gonna take her temperature, they're gonna ask her her height and weight, and, uh, and they're, gonna, you know, they, they're gonna make sure everything you know, checks out. They're, they're gonna go through a stringent, uh, Katie's gonna go through a, a stringent uh, uh, questionnaire. Mm -hmm. right, it, right. It's, a, it, it, it's, it's like an interrogation, <laughs> but we wanna make sure the blood supply sure. is si safe. Right. I mean, that, that's first and foremost. You're right. 16, right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tony Prado with the Blood Bank of Delmarva, thank you so much.